Lisa Marie Presley's first husband, Danny Keough, was called her rock after the untimely death of their first son, Benjamin. Now, new details have emerged on why Keough was living with his ex in the months leading up to her death. Lisa Marie Presley was found unresponsive at her home in Calabasas, California, on January 12, 2023. The only daughter of Elvis Presley and Priscilla Presley was rushed to the hospital, where she was placed on a ventilator. A few hours later, TMZ confirmed that Lisa Marie had died. In the time since, more details about the hours leading up to Lisa Marie's death have surfaced. The 54-year-old was discovered by her housekeeper, who immediately got Lisa Marie's ex-husband, Danny Keough, to help. Keough, who had been living with Lisa Marie, had just returned from dropping her twins off at school and quickly jumped into action, administering CPR before paramedics arrived. Once at the hospital, however, Lisa Marie was declared brain dead and put on life support, according to TMZ. She died shortly thereafter. Lisa Marie Presley and Danny Keough, who were married from 1988 to 1994, moved in together after the tragic death of their son, Benjamin Keough. Benjamin died by suicide in 2020. A source told the U.S. Sun in March 2021, Danny has moved around a lot in the past, but came back to be by Lisa's side immediately when they were left devastated by Ben's death. He was staying with her at the Beverly Hills Hotel. The source went on to add, They are now living with family at a new house in Calabasas and have been grieving together. It's been an extraordinarily difficult time, and he's been a rock for Lisa. He's got so much integrity. He's also my best friend. Lisa Marie and Danny are also parents to Riley Keough. Lisa Marie is survived by Riley, as well as her twin daughters, Finley and Harper Lockwood, whom she had with her ex-husband, Michael Lockwood. The home Lisa Marie Presley shared with Danny Keough holds many memories for the entire family. But in the time since Lisa Marie's death, her twins haven't been able to return to the house because it's just too difficult for them. According to TMZ, Harper and Finley Lockwood have been living with their grandmother, Priscilla Presley, in Los Angeles. As of January 20, 2023, Keo hasn't spoken out publicly about the death of Lisa Marie. Although he does have an active Instagram account, he hasn't posted anything since 2016. His most recent post, however, has been flooded with messages of condolences and well wishes from fans all around the globe. One Instagram user wrote, I am so very sorry for your loss. My prayers are with you and your family. I am sure Lisa is with her dad and Benjamin now. Meanwhile, another commenter wrote on Instagram, I'm very sorry for your loss. My heart goes out to you and your family. Lisa Marie is set to be laid to rest across from her father Elvis Presley's plot at Graceland, TMZ has confirmed. Her official cause of death is still unclear. When Lisa Marie Presley married Danny Keough, there was perhaps no one happier for her than her own mother. Priscilla Presley told People at the time, I am thrilled for Lisa Marie. Danny is a great guy, and I couldn't be happier for the two of them. Although their marriage didn't work out, it seems as though Lisa Marie always had a soft spot for her ex. In an interview with Marie Claire in 2007, Lisa Marie admitted that her split from Keo was something she deeply regretted. She told the outlet, My biggest mistake? Let's see, how can I word this? Um, well, leaving my first marriage for the person that I left it for, that was probably the biggest mistake of my life. Lisa Marie ended up marrying Michael Jackson just 20 days after her divorce from Keo. While it's unclear if Lisa Marie and her ex were romantically involved with one another, it's clear that the two had an unbreakable bond that led them back to one another during a time of grief and beyond.